Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning uh, Form 2 Mathematics. And our topic for today is Quadratic Expressions and Equations. So today we are going to be forming quadratic equations on positive roots. So in the previous lessons, we have been looking at solving quadratic equations. They can be in form of whole numbers, uh, or equations with fractions. So today, now we are just going to the like to the end bit of forming equations. But now we are the roots that we have been, or the answers that we got from the previous lessons are the ones that now we are going to use to calculate to get the equation. So for for example, uh, you have been given the roots two and three. So these are the answers. You remember when you were calculating the value of x1 and the value of x2, now those answers we got are the ones that we refer to as roots. So this means that this is x is equals to 2 and this is x is equals to 3. So we need to go back and form the factors. So this is x minus 2 is equals to 0 and this is x minus 3 is equals to 0. So you remember when you were factorizing, this is the values we got. And then from there, we open the bracket. So this is x minus 2. We multiply by x minus 3 is equals to 0. So you see, we are going back. So we will use this expression to open this expression. So this becomes x into bracket x minus 3. And then minus 2 into bracket x minus 3 is equals to 0. So this becomes x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 because 2 times 3 is 6 minus minus is positive is equals to 0. So this is x squared minus 3 minus 2x is minus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0. And this is our equation. So we are moving from the answers and you are going back to the question as you are doing from the previous lessons. So let's do a few questions so that you can see how I did that. So we have these roots. And remember the roots can be whole numbers or can be fractions. So let's do uh, an example of a whole number, another one. And then you go to a fraction and see how that happens. So this means that x is equals to 4 and x is equals to 3. So this is x minus 4 is equals to 0. x minus 3 is equals to 0. So it means we multiply x minus 4 times x minus 3 is equals to 0. So you open this using this fraction. So x into bracket x minus 3 and then minus 4 into bracket x minus 3 is equals to 0. So this becomes x times x, we get x squared, x times 3 minus 3x, minus 4 times x, we get minus 4x, minus 4 times minus 3, we get positive 12 is equals to 0. So this is x squared minus 3 minus 4, we get minus 7. So minus 7x plus 12 is equals to 0. And this is your answer. So this is for the fraction. It's more or less the same. So the x is equals to a half. And then x is equals to a third. So this means that this was 2x is equals to 1. Or you can cross multiply. And this was 3x is equals to 1. Not, not how we did it in the previous lesson. You can go back there and check. For us to get a fraction, we need to divide both sides. So that's the reason we have 2x and is equals to 1 and 3x is equals to 1. So this is the same as 2x minus 1 is 0. And then 3x minus 1 is 0. So it's 2x minus 1 into bracket. 3x minus 1 into bracket is equals to 0. So we are going to use this expression to open this. So it's 2x, 3x minus 1, then minus 1, 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is going to give us 6x squared minus 2x minus 3x, then positive 1. 1, 1 is 1, minus minus is positive. So 6x squared minus 2x minus 3x is minus 5x plus 1. And that's our answer. 
So let's do a few more questions. So in this case, now we have a mixture. So before we had both of them either whole numbers or both of them fractions. So let's do the final example where one of the values is a fraction and one is a whole number. So this is x is equals to 1 over 4 and x is equals to 5. So this becomes 4x is equals to 1. So this is 4x minus 1 is equals to 0. This is x minus 5 is equals to 0. So this is 4x minus 1 into bracket, x minus 5 into bracket is equals to 0. So we use this to multiply this. So it's 4x into bracket, x minus 5, and then minus 1 into bracket, x minus 5 is equals to 0. So this becomes 4x squared minus 20 minus x, this 20x. And then positive minus minus 5 is equals to 0. So this is 4x squared minus 20 minus x minus 21x plus 5 is equals to 0. And that is your answer. Then finally, we have this question. So x is equals to 3 and x is equals to a third. So this is x minus 3 is equals to 0 and 3x is equals to 1. So 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is the same as x minus 3. And then 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. So we use this to open this. So it is x into bracket 3x minus 1. And then minus 3 into bracket 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is 3x squared minus x minus 9x, we open slowly, negative 3 times 3, then negative 3, negative 1, so negative 3 is equal to 0. So this is 3x squared minus x minus 9x is minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 0. And you're done. Finally, let's look at this case. Like in the second question, the value of x is 0. So let's see how you do that one. Let's do this one first. So x is equals to 1, x is equals to 3. So x minus 1 is 0 and x minus 3 is 0. So this is x minus 1 times x minus 3, 0. So we use this to multiply this. So it is x into bracket x minus 3. And then negative 1 into bracket x minus 3 is equal to 0. So this gives us x squared minus 3x minus x positive 3 is equal to 0. So this is x squared minus 3 minus x is minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Finally, this is our last question. So x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. So it's going to remain as 0 as it is. And then this is going to be x minus 3 is equal to 0. So this becomes, uh, so since our x is equal to 0, then it's like 0 plus x minus 3, not plus, uh, is equal to, so because there is 0, we're not going to use it. So it's going to be just x minus 3 is equal to 0. That is going to be our equation. And <laughs> that's it. All right. So that brings us to the end of our calculation. Uh, so check out more revision questions uh, in the app as that you can be able to practice on how to form equation from the positive roots. So also the notes are in the app. See you in the next lesson.